Okay, everybody, I'm back. Have you ever wanted to build a sand rail out of scratch? You know, go down to your local uh, metal place and get some tubing and some plate metal and, I don't know, just start cutting up some pipes and start making a frame. Well, I am going to show you the redneck way of doing it. Even though I'm not a redneck, it's redneck-ish because I ain't got no jigs. All I got is common sense, a tape measure, a tubing cutter, and a welder. So I'm going to give you first hand of how to kind of do it on the fly. And just whatever looks cool, we're going with it. Okay, what we're starting with here is inch and a half tubing. Of course, uh, you can see that we're going to have, we're going to have uh, four bars going down at the bottom of the floorboard. Have two, I guess you want to call them outriggers, right here and right there. We're probably going to run some bars down and meet up with the floor wherever they intersect at. But you can kind of get a basic idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, we'll get that rag out of there. I'll show you what it looks like a little bit better. Hey. All right. So, of course, it's got the old infamous, you know, Volkswagen front end on it with the torsion set up. And as you can see, of course, there, yeah, we've got it sitting on some I-beams, you know, because we, we want to have it straight and square. I mean, I'm, I'm calling it a redneck build, but come on, we, we're, we are going to make sure it's square and level and doing what it's supposed to do. But um, as you can see, and then we got the area right here. Had the weld-in plates on so we can bolt the front end on. But as it unfolds, And then, of course, you got your back end, which is new, where the engine would sit and trans transaxle. Then we'll have some chair, we'll have some seat area right here. But um, so far, this is where we're at with it. Let me walk around here to kind of give you a bird's eye view. All right, and there's the seats in the back. We're going to go with hard uh, hard poly seats. Put some nice sliders on them so uh, so they can slide back and forth. But this is the beginning of a redneck buggy. As you can see, the frame rails are four of them in concert with each other. One, two, three, four. And now we're putting rib looking like tubing up and attaching to this top bar. So it's everything's triang triangulated, if you notice. So that's where the seats will be positioned. And you can see how long this, this buggy's gonna be. And we are starting off with a new torque tube, as you can very well see right here. We took our measurements off of that. So, and of course these, um, these, this tubing right here, uh, this right here, this one right here, all these in a row, they are bent on a 63 degree angle to give us that, that little sweep up, as you could call it. And then... Of course, we're going to be kind of close and really tight through this cavity right here for the um, tire rod, you know, to come this way. But we're going to go with a rack and pinion system, so it, it'll mount it'll mount somewhere in this area right here and allow us to maybe run a little tighter system. We don't know yet. We'll figure it out as we go. But so far. That is what it looks like. Okay, everybody. So we have made some more um, progress on the redneck buggy. If you hold tight, we will show you some more of the uh, tubing that has been cut, laid out. I think everybody's going to be kind of excited to see the progress that's being made. We're, we're not done with it yet. We've got the front section done. 
but the rear section has not been done or laid out yet for the engine, but uh, you'll see. So here we are with the redneck buggy. This is what we got accomplished so far. We've added this down bar right here and the two in the middle. And then if you see this little hook right here, we've added that. So if you go to the side view, you'll see a cavity right there. And that's where your steering components would come through your, your drag link. And in this case, we're gonna run a uh, rack and pinion. So you can see what we've done down the side here. We got the hoop over the, the main hoop right back here coming down. And if you walk around it a little bit, you'll see what we're doing right here down the center. Got the two upper bars right here and here. They mimic the floor bars and also see the top bar. All right. They all kind of mimic. It's all asymmetrical. It all you know, kind of look coin sides with each other. But as you can see, we've got the, the hangers so you can unbolt the front end and our rack and pinion. Let me come around the side here. The rack and pinion, I got to make a pocket that will sit on top of this bar. And it's just like a U pocket like that. And it allows your rack and pinion to sit in the middle. That's why you need the bigger cavity right through here because of suspension travel, uh, you're, as your wheels and tires hit a bump in the road, it cycle up and down. So, it, it, you know, it's going to, the um, tie rod end is going to, you know, kind of float up and down linear. But you can see, this is where we're at with the redneck buggy. Haven't done the back yet. We get, this is, this is the top, this is the front, the top, and the sides. So we're, on the back here, we haven't decided um, how we're going to do it, but we're thinking something along the lines of maybe putting a bar right here, coming around the back side of the seat, then coming off the top down. So, and you can see what we got it jigged up on this table here, this I beam table. And these I beams, they slide, and they can slide from either side, and they're sitting on a welded platform. But you can see what we got going on here. It's it's gonna be pretty cool. You can see the, the main hoop. But it's we're calling it the redneck buggy, so no uh we have no build plans. We're just it's all concept in the head, and as it looks right, feels right, we're going with it. Okay, check out the progress. We've got some tires on it. We got a mock-up engine in this thing and a mock-up transaxle. So you can see the tubing in the back, little carriage area. This is our redneck buggy. Check it out. Still got it on the jig table. And let me uh, come around here. All right. All right, so the front hasn't changed. We've gotten some more tubing done. We haven't welded tabs in because we're going to put, we are going to install some diamond plate floors in here. And we're going to run tabs off the corner of the tubing. And we're going to put Zeus fasteners to hold the, uh, hold the diamond plate down. Let me do a walk around here. Let me step back so we can get a little better aerial view of this bad boy. So this is, this was the look and the design we were going with. Something kind of unique, different. Uh, it's a little longer. It's, it's probably almost, I don't know, probably two feet longer than the original. Here's the original. As you can see, it's rusty junk. Um, cut the back end off to kind of get measurements, but all the measurements went away very quickly with this build. Because this is by scratch, that's why we're dubbing it the redneck rail or buggy, whatever works. 
as you can see got the top bars on it we got two bars going down the center I think I showed that before but but you got to stay tuned to kind of get the full view of this bad boy so as you can tell um, we are almost completely wrapped up doing all the tubing work we got a couple of brackets and a a few of the little fasteners to go on this redneck buggy. But pretty much, it, this video is about trying to inspire people to build stuff on their own and out of imagination. Not something on drawings and all that stuff. Just whatever feels right, looks right. Me and the owner of this vehicle, we've, we've put some nights in trying to figure out what looks right, what, you know, what will work for him and his wife. And we've, we've elected to have the engine hang out on the back kind of puts you in mind of an old Volkswagen in that manner. But uh, he's still got to do some wheels and tires, and I might make another segment on that. But, uh, you know, it's just, it's just something a little custom. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Some people are going to like what we did. Some people are not going to like what we did. Some people are going to say it's this, it's that. But, ah, shoot, it's, it's whatever you want to put it as, you know. So uh, it's, it's custom. That word means a lot. It, it goes very far. But remember, I'm a one-man band. <laughs>